we need Miss Dawkins to come home. Not just to come home, but come home alive. We don't want to find her body. We want her alive. We are still feeling hopeful. We haven't found anything, any evidence as yet, but we are still trying. We are not giving up. I got a phone call. The phone call was from the secretary of Four Parts Primary and Junior High School. So when I answered the phone, she said, Mr. Campbell, you hear, you hear from your sister? She said, not from yesterday, that was Tuesday. But I go call Cheryl, that my other sister, and see if they hear anything. So I call Cheryl. Cheryl said, no, they don't hear from her from yesterday. Yesterday they talked to her. I said, all right. I said, tell them what happened, what Miss Price said. They said. So she said, all right, I drive out now and go around you. I said, I will meet you on the road. So same time, when I get ready and I come out, by the time I reach on the road, I get the next call again. That's Cheryl. And Cheryl said, I reach around there, you know, Terence, and she know, did it. Because the gate locked, the door then lock up, and the car you know, did it. And they my call and you know, did it. I said, I said, yeah. All right. I said, anyway, I'm on my way coming. I said, all right. Same time, I get a call again from Miss Price. So Cheryl said, she did figure Kingston with Miss McDonald, you know. So I said, call Miss McDonald and find out where, if she's seen her. So she called, she said she called, and she you not know, hear nothing. Anyway, same time Miss Price called me back and said, Mr. Campbell, you hear and he said no. And I tell her that Cheryl said she wants to go to Kingston with Miss McDonald. And same time Miss Price said, Miss McDonald just walk in the school here. You see me? And so Miss McDonald just walk in the school and she asked her and she said she knows see her because she did to meet her at school there so they can go to Kingston. And I said, oh my gosh. Anyway, after that go, out, she said, hear me, go straight down to the police station and go make a missing person report. So I just go straight to the police station, make the report, and then after me and one of the police go round by the house. And we go round, two of the police, as a matter of fact, go round by the house. And when you go round there, daddy was round there waiting on us and my sister, my other sister. And because she always left a key down by mommy, daddy came me with that key. And daddy said, open the door for the police and make them go in. So I go at the back door, trying to open it. And it was not the back door key. So I go to the, the, the front door now and open it and go in there. When we go in, we see that the TV in the, in the living room was gone. And then we look around and go in our bedroom. And we see that the TV on the wall in our bedroom was gone. Our laptop was gone and our tablet was gone. You see me? and we don't know what else is wrong. This is a teacher who has responsibility of supervising our canteen and our talk shop. This is a teacher who is very active in the life of the school. The Jamaica Teachers Association is standing in solidarity with our colleague Natalie Dawkins, who we remain hopeful that um, she will return home. Um, as, you can, as you can see, a number of teachers from all over the parish and in fact all over the country gathered separately in small groups, you know, are handing out um, flyers and alerting the public so that we can get all hands on deck in this search for our colleague. We had an assembly up by Woodley, that's one of the entrance to Highway 2000, and there in that area, there was another group at Mineralites. There's a group on the beach in Salt River now, that's the Welcome Beach, and there's a group at the mineral in salt river so we are heading that direction so we will all meet up further along the way so far we have been going through the meadows the trucks we have been shopping our way through we have moved now from truck to cutlass shopping away to see if we can see anything today as early as 6 a.m we were joined by the canine division together with a group of teachers and supported by drone technology we have intensified the search for missing teacher miss natalie dawkins 
who went missing on Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. Together we have come through the Rosewell District, Planters Hall District, leading up to Bellas Gate, where the motor vehicle of the teacher was recovered last evening. So far we have not found her, but we will continue to search. We're encouraging members of the public to come on board to intensify the search to locate Miss Dawkins. If there is anyone with information into the disappearance of Miss Natalie Dawkins, please make contact with the police at 119 or the nearest police station. We just need something, if it's even a word, somebody, this is Jamaica. We, somebody must have seen something. Oh, exactly. and that is why we are here. We want to know what did you see? This is exactly. our colleague. Yes. The fight is against us. Right. We are teachers. We are women. Mm -hmm. We cannot just sit and allow this to happen. We have to come out. Exactly. So we are going to go wherever it takes so, us. Yes. If we go to beyond. our bed tonight and we mm -hmm. dream that we're supposed to go to St. Catherine, St. Yeah, Catherine, we're we going will to go. St. Catherine. And if we're supposed to go to Manchester, Manchester. that's where we're going to yeah. go. So if we have to go to 14 parishes to find Natalie, we are we going to find Natalie. And if we don't find her we're gonna find who's to ever took her, her. that is please we are not going to people. stop so that is the word from the teachers, teachers in jamaica we are not, not going to stop, stop until we find natalie, natalie.